you know what guys, I can't actually let this guy, like, you know, what this woman said. Um, you know, who the fuck is she to tell me that the world has to believe in a monster like that? You know, where the hell does she get off? Like, you know, oh, I'm just telling you so that your soul isn't damned. Trust me, lady, if there is such a thing as heaven and hell, I will willingly own my trip to hell. I will go down there gladly. Because no matter what happens down there, it could never, ever be as horrendous as knowing that there's st still people I love and care about enduring the tortures that this omnipotent wanker offers them on a daily basis. You know, people... I'm, I'm going to have to switch the screen. One second, guys. I'm way too fucked. So, yeah. Hey, man. Switch your screen. Um, so, yes. Like, you know... Even if there is a god... Again, why follow him? Why follow someone who has allowed all these atrocities to take place in his name? I'm talking the systematic rape and murder of... Like, you know, the Aztecs, the Native Americans, anyone who chose a different path than the path of God. You know, it is an absolutely horrendous thing to have happened. Absolutely disgusting. And yet, we are still almost forced to have to believe in him. I mean, why? Surely, even if there is a God at the end of the day, you know, if he's all-loving, then believe in him or not, you will still be in his good graces. Why should I have to go to a stuffy, drafty little place and spend my Sunday on my knees praying for good to happen when the only thing that will ever happen is more atrocities? And that's, that, that's the funny thing. That's what makes me laugh about all of this shit. The thing that gets me the most. Anything good in the world happens. It is God's will. It is his divine purpose. Anything bad happens. And God moves in mysterious ways. So you're still saying that this is God's design, yet you refuse to accept the fact that your God is a narcissistic genesis. He really is. And not only is he a genesis, but he has allowed millions of genocides to take place in his name. You know, it's the Crusades. A war fought for God. Millions and upon millions of innocents slaughtered for the sake of a God. How is that okay? In the eyes of someone who claims to love us all, how is allowing that to happen any sign of love? I'm, I'm done with this shit. You know, hate on me if you want. This is my un honest opinion on God and Christianity as an entire religion. Um, so yeah. Um, actually, you know what? No. I'm not even done with that. If there is a God and you are somehow everywhere and you are watching this, who the hell do you think you are playing with people's lives like this? You know, how, how is anything you're doing good? How is, like, you know, someone dying good? I have a friend who's dying. I have a friend who was ostracized by his family so much for not believing in the Bible and for being gay. They drove him to kill himself. How is that part of God's magical design? How is any of this, all these wars, all this destruction, all this hate? As a society, we have so much hate for anything that we deem strange. How is that showing signs of love? This is what he and this religion has instilled in us. You can't go a single day without hearing about some sort of prejudice or another if you only just open your ears. And most of it is religion based. Even like you know today's racism as well as religion based are 
this person is a Muslim, so they must be a terrorist. That's bullshit. You know what? Christians are the biggest terrorist group to have ever existed. Opus Dei. Read about them. Massively fucked up terrorist group. Extreme Christians. Again, the Crusades. That was a mass terror strike of something the world has never seen the likes of. And because the act of a terrorist is someone who does actions that instill terror in other people. So yeah. Again, these are my opinions. I don't care if you like them or not. My opinion is that Christians are a bunch of terrorist bucks. And the world would be so much better off without them. Peace, y'all.